Bork Airport was closed for 10 weeks to allow for the reconstruction and upgrade of runway 1634. That is 2,133 meters long by 45 meters wide. It has an asphalt pavement. This footage captures the work, equipment and materials along the runway. Generally runways have to be resurfaced every 20 years. The main quantities were Marshall asphalt pavement makes 47,000 tons. Average daily output was 1,500 tons. Chambers 400 number for ground lights. Precast offsite. Cable duct 60 kilometers. Cable in 140 kilometers for ground lights. Ground lights 500 number. Value of contract not disclosed, only it was part of a 40 million euros investment. The main contractor is Kohler's Limited, part of the International Kohler's Group. Subcontractors, plant hire, suppliers and consultants include Lagan Asphalt, part of the Breedon Group. Their resources were staff and workers 60 number. At Mac Construction Limited Civil Engineering Excavations, installed chambers and ducts. Their resources were, staff and workers 30 number, machines 16 number. Brooklyn Engineering Electrical Contractor, ground lights and cables. Their resources were staff and workers 30 number. Atkins Engineering Designers part the SNC Lavalin Group. FLI Carlo supplied the precast chambers. Murphy Geospatial provided topographical and utility surveys. Lloyd Drilling Cutting Grooves in Pavement Surface. Rigards Pavement Markings and Lining. Ryan Road Planing Services. ADB Safegate Suppliers of Lighting and Cables. Scope included. Structural overlay 150 mm thick, including pavement repairs. Marshall asphalt in three layers, base, binder and wearing courses. Gear textile was used to reinforce the asphalt pavement. Upgrade of AGL, airfield ground lighting. Replacement of lights, cabling and transformers. Construction of a new AGL electrical pit and duct system. Asphalt batching yard and delivery to site. The batching plant is located east of the airport near Carrick to Hill a distance of 24 kilometers. The journey time is 30 minutes. Rigid tipper trucks and Arctic trucks with tipping trailers used to deliver the hot asphalt mix. The lorries have insulated tipper body with sheeting systems to cover the load and retain the heat. A tractor unit with ejector trailers that discharge the hot asphalt mix by using an internal moving bulkhead to push the asphalt mix out of the trailer into the paver's hopper. Does not tip. Lay down of the hot asphalt mix. The surface is cleaned using lorry sweepers. Lorry sweeper consists of several storage tanks and side and front roller brushes. Lorry bitumen tank with the spray bar are used to apply hot tack bitumen coats to bond the pavement layers. Paver machines on tracks are used to lay down the asphalt hot mix. The pavers have a maximum pave width of 8 meters. Echelon paving is where two or more pavers work in a staggered formation to eliminate cold longitudinal joints that tend to ravel leaving gaps. Joints between layers are staggered by 150 mm to 300 mm as joints are a weakness. Compaction of hot asphalt mix. Rollers are used to compact the asphalt to achieve maximum density and reduce the air void content. To achieve maximum compaction the asphalt mix needs to be hot and the compaction is carried out in three stages. A series of rollers operate one after the other close behind the paver while the asphalt mix is hot. Typical roller position you start. Breakdown roller. The first roller behind the screed. It generally affects the most density gain of any roller in the sequence. 
Breakdown rollers can be of any type but are most often vibratory steel drum. Intermediate roller. Used behind the breakdown roller. Pneumatic tire rollers are sometimes used as intermediate rollers because they provide a different type of compaction, needing action, than a breakdown steel wheel vibratory roller, which can help further compact the mat or at the very least, rearrange the aggregate within the mat to make it receptive to further compaction. Finish roller. The last roller in the sequence. It is used to provide a smooth surface. Static steel wheel rollers are almost always used as finishing rollers because they can produce the smoothest surface of any roller type. Grooving runway pavement surface. Grooving machine cuts grooves. Grooving the runway pavement surface reduces the risk of hydroplaning. Most specifications call for grooves to be 6 mm deep by 6 mm wide, spaced 38 mm center to center. Grooves reduce stopping distances on dry pavement and help to eliminate standing water on the runway. Runway and approach lighting is used to guide pilots visually for a safe approach and landing in the dark or poor visibility. Equipment and plant on site included Road planing machines with front loading conveyor to remove part of the runway surface. Maximum milling width is 2.1 meters wide by up to 300 millimeters depth. Excavators and tipper trucks used for excavating and backfilling trenches. Floodlights mounted on teleporters with generator on trailer. Muscat runway construction information. 3D animation showing sequence, methods and machinery. This video captures how the works were carried out and is like a project execution plan that everyone can understand. The information is presented in a concise and easily understood way.